Oh, uh, it's you. Do you know what time it is? It's early. I know we said we get up, but this is too early and it's raining. So come back later. So why am I talking to you about Yorkshire puddings? And why have I got the ingredients laid out in this on my table? It's really simple. I'm trying to illustrate a point in a really stupid way. It doesn't matter what equipment you've got, it doesn't matter what lighting you've got, it doesn't matter how gorgeous you are. I mean, obviously I am incredibly gorgeous and if you've fainted a couple of times, it's completely understandable. The most important thing about videoing, whether it's doing an unboxing, whether you're doing a cooking recipe like this, whatever it is, it's the story. People love stories. We have loved stories since we were cavemen sitting around a fire, chewing on a saber-toothed tiger's paw, yeah? Story is everything. It doesn't have to be complicated, a beginning, a middle, and an end. So I am illustrating my point by making a story. I'm telling you this story. I've got a friend coming um, Thursday or Friday, and she wants a, a roast dinner, and I can cook a roast dinner, no problem at all, but I haven't made Yorkshire puddings in, oh God, forever. So I thought I'll have a test run today before she cuts here, and what you need is you need some flour, 200 grams, 140 grams of flour, you need 200 millilitres of uh, milk, and you need four eggs. So this is probably going to be complete hash up, mash up. And I've got you, oh yeah, I talked about equipment, you are now leaning on some mung beans and a packet of couscous. I'm not using any extra lighting, no stands, no nothing, just you, me, the phone, and the incredible about to be Yorkshire pudding mix. So I might speed this up because I might get a bit boring, but uh, just to see how it goes. Okay, so let's find um, somebody to put my eggs in when I finish. There you go. Right, so we need four decent sized eggs. That's a big one. One, two, three, and I put the yolk in there, but never mind. Not the yolk, what's that? Got the shell. And one more. Four. There we go. Right, we're now going to beat these. I'll take it off the table because it'll make a mess and you'll just wobble. So what I'm doing is I'm beating them with a whisk because I couldn't find a proper beater thing I've got in the house and you've got to beat this mixture until it's not lumpy. Well this is going to take some time because I've got a lot of lumps. I mean, can you see that? Yeah, look at that, that is lumpy. So we're going to be a while. Whoops, built a bit, that's no good. Don't worry, I'll, you know, time lapse it or something. So you don't have to sit through the whole thing. You can sing me a song or something while I'm doing this. I forgot to bring any backing tracks, but never mind. I'm not really getting there. What bloody hell. You wouldn't believe that I'm spending four mornings a week with a personal trainer, trying to get bigger and stronger. I've been doing this for what? less than a minute and my right arm is killing me already oh yeah there's no microphone either yeah it's just um oh naturel as you say now don't get me wrong microphones some lights and a stand and all that kind of stuff yeah and a script and everything are important eventually but the most important thing is the story and getting your video done and out and that's what i'm doing today it's just highlighting that you don't need that gear, don't let that put you off. Oh, I haven't got this and I haven't got that. Well, that's kind of lumpy less. Right now, what you've got to do is you've got to add the milk gradually into there to sort of make a batter. And again, I'm going to take it off the table because you'll just wobble and I don't want a wobbly video. So you just sing to yourselves a while, love. Take a minute or two. Well, that's not actually too bad. Oh, yeah, so the oven has to be preheated at 210 if it's a fan oven or 230 if it's some other kind of oven and your trays need to be getting warm while you're making your batter and don't ask me why I'm not a cook yeah 
I'm just following a recipe from the BBC actually. Oh god, it's hurting my arm. Some more milk. There we go, we're getting there. It's not really, really lumpy, it's not too bad actually at all. If I say so myself, just call me Egon Rene. If you don't know who he was, he was a famous chef back in the 70s and 80s, I think. Reading earlier. Oh, my wrist. That's the last of the milk, if we get rid of that. Now what is interesting, in the, the notes for the recipe it says leave them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes undisturbed. But I read some of the comments and a lot of the comments said if you leave them in that long at that heat you'll just burn them. So I'm going to go for 15 minutes yeah, and we'll see how that works. Now, just for those of you that might not be from Yorkshire, there's probably one or two of you, Yorkshire puddings are a savoury dish, yeah? They're not the sweet, there's no sugar or milk or anything like that. In there. Sorry, there's milk, there's no sugar or any sort of flavouring. I need a bit of salt and pepper. A bit of salt and a bit of pepper. Okay, so. Pepper and salt. This is Saxa's best coarse sea salt, look at that. I'll put that in there, a bit of sprinkle of that. Get rid of that. What do you think? That's me spilling it. That looks fairly smooth. I can't see any lumps left in there. I mean, there's probably a whole lot on the bottom, but we don't worry about that too much. This is where I'm probably going to burn my hand because what I'm going to do now is get the hot trays out and pour. So you can watch this and laugh. Let me just put that there. Uh, yeah, and have some glove. So that's one. And that's two. And what I did was, um, it's really hot, I sprinkled, I'll put a bit of um, oil at the bottom just to help them cook along, so it's going to go in there. And then, this is a four thing. Now if I've done this properly, when they come out they will have risen and they're all golden and delicious and all that kind of thing. If they don't rise, they'll still taste okay, but they'll look really horrible. Uh, a bit more in that. A bit more in that one. A little bit more in that. And a little bit more in that. Then the rest of this can go in this tray here, so we make one giant one. Normally, this is where I burn myself, so I, forgot, I would forget to put the oven glove back on. But since you're watching, I'm going to try not to be too stupid. Put that into the oven. This is a fan oven, so you can probably hear the noise. In there. Okay, so it's exactly quarter past four, so. 15, 20 minutes will go just after 4.30. So I'm going to pause you. I didn't have my coffee, so I'm going to pause you. Are you still there? Good. I'm going to pause you, have my coffee, and I'll see you in a bit once they've uh, done. I'm back. Did you miss me? It is 20 minutes since we last spoke, and I've just had a sneak peek through the glass, and it looks like we're there. So um, put your oven gloves on, we're ready to go. Oh, look at this. Oh, first attempts. Oh, my goodness me. Look at that. Wow. 
Turn the oven off. Look, 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 look. My first attempt. I'm so chuffed. Look at this. Look, 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 bloody hell, look. Ha <laughs> ha. This is unbelievable. I've not made these for about 20 years. Look at them. Golden and delicious. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm going to, I'm going to chew one. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. <laughs> bloody hell. Oh. Mm. If you get around here in about 20 minutes, there might be some left. But look at that. Oh, it's sinking a little bit now because it's in the cold, but oh wow, I am so impressed. Now, 20 minutes is probably a little bit too long because if you look at these, these two, this one here in the corner, that one there, is getting a little bit too brown and it's just on the edge. So I reckon 16, 17 minutes and we'd be perfect. So I'm not going to wait until my friend gets here if it's not for another few days to sort of give you that end of the story. But the end of my story today is that <laughs> I've made some Yorkshire puddings for the first time ever and they've turned out not too bad. Yeah, I'm really, really impressed. Go make your own story. Go shoot some video. Have fun. You don't have to be perfect. Yeah, unbox that kid. Unbox that kid. <laughs> unbox that gear. You know, take some videos of your kids, your dog, whatever it is you want to do, go and do it. You don't need the equipment, all you need is a story. Listen, I'm just hyper excited. I've got to go and try these now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.